Hello and welcome to Peaky Blinders episode 5. Yeah, the last episode was a really good one. A lot of stuff happened. Um, but I still have a few questions which um, has to be answered. For example, the 200 pounds Freddy gave to the guy, was it? Was it the money Polly gave to him? Because someone said that it was from the Russian government. But I don't know if this was the truth or not. Because this can this can lead to problems. And the other thing is he tries to betray Billy Kimber. <laughs> and he's doing this with the Lee family, which is also interesting. And he's um, r related on to the Lees on the mother's side. That's why this boss lady trusts him. But I have the feeling that that he also betrays the Lees at some point. I don't know. That's also interesting to see. Then we have Campbell. <laughs> and now he killed a guy. I mean, not, not personally, but... He gave the orders to, and I don't I don't know what to think of him because, I mean, like I said before, he hates corruption, and he's the corrupt the the, the most corrupt one of all. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and I and I have the feeling that he soon be dead because he threatened. Um, Tommy's family. Yeah. So, and yeah, and who gave away the address? That was very ambiguous at, at the end. I don't really think it was Tommy, but, but that means that somebody else knows or knew where Freddy lived. But I, I have no idea who that could be. Yeah, and that's it. So, <laughs> I can't wait to see the next episode. So, let's rock. Past the bridge, past the mills, past the stacks. On a gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. Hmm, interesting. Did I miss something or who was lying there? Who died? 1919, so very... Um... Fresh. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Now he's rot rotten in the cell. It's the last time I'm gonna say this. It wasn't me. Who shot Freddy Thorn? I believe him. Actually. My name! Hey, no, just shout at me! Dad? Hmm. Jesus. Hmm. The father? Interesting. Pollyanna, I'm a guest of the head of his family, so why don't you maybe tend to your mangle or your scuttle? The head of the family, I too. <laughs> hmm. So, all of them accepted Tommy as the head of the family. Every week we pay one pound ten shilling by postal order to a Daniel Owen in London. Danny Whiz Bang. Hangs around the pubs in Camden Sam Wharf for us. Keeps his ears open for business. He's a good man. I thought Danny Wisbang was dead. And you thought wrong, didn't you? Was it... Was it the guy... in the first episode? Who told me... shot in the first episode? Daniel. Danny. Yeah. I think that was this guy. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. How much? How much to get started? The oak needs but an acorn. Let's do it. Hmm. 
Let's do it. Let's bloody do it. Hmm. He was very quickly on it without thinking about it. I doubt that this was the right choice. You're doing good, sir. You're doing good. I love you, God. I love you. <laughs> hmm. I have the feeling that Arthur Shelby Sr. will break his heart at some point. You see, Mr. Shelby, Ryan, for all his quick mouth, was indeed connected. Very well connected to our brotherhood. By membership in blood. He was my cousin. <laughs> the brotherhood. Let me get to the point. My cousin was shot. I am judge, jury, and executioner. I find you guilty and I pass sentence. You deliver the guns to me, or I deliver death and hell's fury to you and your little tribe of Athens. Am I making myself clear? They have become a burden to me. Perhaps it is time to unload that burden for the right price. Hmm. Alaki Bar, Brigade Commander of the South Armagh IRA. You hooked yourself a big fish there. With these guns as bait, and knows what we'll catch. We. Oui. So he's from the IRA. Inspector, since we're getting on so well, can you answer me a question? Who gave you Freddy Thorne? Well, as everyone in the city knows, it was you, Mr. Shelby. Eh? <laughs> so everyone thinks it's him, but it wasn't him. I'm pretty sure. Or did... Or was he drunk and then it slipped out of him? When do we sell that? Hungry for work, are you? Yeah. Ship sails Friday. Meet me at the boxing ring. Oh, it's Friday. Friday. Oh, I, I have the feeling that the father is taking advantage of him. Get some money out of him and then he's gone. St. Andrew's bell strikes midnight. Two wild, eh, men? Gonna come through that door. When they have what they want, they plan to kill me. It's your job to stop that happening. Hmm. I'm gonna be in that back room. I'm gonna be sitting there. When I make a toast, All right. you come out with that thing raised. <laughs> you don't shoot, you just point. I'll do the rest. Hmm. You're gonna need a shovel. You thick fucking tinker. Do you think we'd let you live? Who said it's true what he says where the guns are? Oh, what? <laughs> she she just came out shooting and what the fuck? I think he's dead. <laughs> Why did you shoot? Why did you shoot, Grace? I didn't know had it in me like that. Hmm. But why did she shoot? Man. <laughs> what a scene. But that means he still has the guns. I believe last night something inside me changed. I no longer feel the need to avenge my father. The hatred that I brought here with me is gone. Hmm. And therefore my reasons for joining the service. I want to resign. I think our mission has come to a natural end. Hmm. I think I know where the guns are hidden. You do? So tell me where. If I'm right and the guns are found, you have no more business with Thomas Shelby. Is that not so? 
our military mission will be over and we can leave the city as we found it. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> she likes him. Huh. So what I said in the last episode or the episode before it wasn't so far fetched uh, as I thought. I have found out that the man supposed to be buried is alive. The guns are buried in that grave. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> so if if that's the truth, then Campbell has the guns now. And then his mission is over. But she told Campbell without Tommy's knowledge. So I wonder how how he will react. I'm a simple man, but a good man. And my admiration for you. A good man. <laughs> Has turned to love. Oh. Yes. Will you marry me? <laughs> you deserve better. Now he gets furious. And actually, he deserves worse. Is it him? My resignation will be with you in the morning. So now, now I'm thinking that that his mission is not over. He just has a new one. <laughs> Get rid of Thomas Shelby. All that stuff you said about the Shelby Casino and Atlantic City. Mm. Well, if the truth be told, I'm not so acquainted with that promised land as I had the belief. <laughs> so Tommy was right. I waited for you. A white. Look at me, boy. He's not in the prize ring now. <laughs> Poor Arthur. I'm looking for Thomas Shelby. I've never heard of him. <laughs> uh oh. Understand this, Burman. I don't care if you live or die. You left with the palm aid. <laughs> wow. So now it's very personal for him, but he doesn't want to get uh, Grace in trouble. So he just wants him. But what a great job. Um. What's his name? Sam Neil did or does with the character. <laughs> he doesn't like that. That son of a bitch. <laughs> That's interesting. I never thought that this was would actually happen. <laughs> now she switched side comple sides completely. Oh what? She's trying to hang him? Self? Wow. That really crushed him. I have news, very good news. Hmm. Tell him the business I came to attend to is now complete. Oh. I'll be leaving the city. There's just one matter I need to tidy up first. Oh. <laughs> so it, he tries. He tries to kill Tommy, and then he goes. So next time, use a gun, man. <laughs> Men at the station tell me that couple is leaving town. We're in the clear. No, um, not quite. This garden that I've built. What a nice shot. And also the lighting, it's just it's just perfect. And the music gives 
the good vibe. And now it's the end, I guess. So this episode ended on a happy note. <laughs> and it's like, it looks like he's, he went into the light. <laughs> Maybe symbolizing his, um, his, uh, uh, yeah, this his soon death, <laughs> which is not happening because there are six seasons. <laughs> It's possible, death. Whatever. Yeah, I go straight to the review. I have a lot to say. <laughs> so, see you then. All right, that was it. That was episode five. A really great one. I would say it was the greatest episode of the season so far. So much happened. So much great things happened. And also, so unexpected things like the scene where Grace uh, shot the IRA guy. And yeah, that's... Maybe that's because she want, wanted to protect Tommy. Because she also uh, gave the guns away to protect Tommy. But now, indirectly, she made it worse. Because now Campbell wants to kill Tommy. Oh man, so many problems, and and poor Arthur. He, I don't know. I mean, he's a gangster and not really a good guy, but he doesn't deserve that. I don't know. He's sometimes he's too naive, but it ended on a happy note. That's good. Oh yeah. And Danny was the guy from the first episode. So his real name is Daniel Owen. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure that it was him. But I checked it up. He, here, his name is Danny Whizbang. And that's Daniel Owen, right? So that's him. They thought he's dead. Everyone thinks he's dead, right? Huh. I guess so. Yeah. What we haven't seen is, or or who we haven't seen is um, Billy Kimber. And this would be the season finale, I think. And I have a guess about that. I think, of course, he's now working with uh, the Lees, and I think they are trying to overthrow his empire and then take it for themselves. Then they split 50-50, but I think Tommy betrays the, the Lees and takes it all. <laughs> That's a wild guess, I know, I know, but uh, I don't know, we will see. Yeah, I know that that Grace is uh, not a spy anymore. <laughs> I mentioned it in one episode, but it was so far-fetched to me. I never thought this would actually happen. But yeah, she fell for Tommy. <laughs> the inspector. That's why in one episode I thought um, that Grace would be Campbell's daughter, but I misunderstood because somebody in in the comments told me that um, she's not related to him, but her father used to work with Campbell, and that's how they know each other. And in one scene, they, he was holding her hand like this, and that's why I thought, okay, okay maybe uh, she's her daughter, but that's. It's not true. He was in love all the time. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, okay. The last episode is left. Which means he has to get rid of Campbell and Kimber. And that's it, right? Right? I think that's it. 
for now. Yeah. Okay. Then, can't wait for the next episode. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.